Hello, I'm Randy Allen, General Manager of the Server and Workstation Division at Advanced Micro Devices. Last week, we introduced the Quad Core Opteron. This architecture allows us to directly connect the processor to the I.O. system, to the memory, and to other processors in the system, delivering both performance and performance per watt benefits. In contrast, our competitor continues to market products based on an outdated legacy front, by, front side bus system architecture. I suppose you could say that imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And we see now that our competitor has made announcements. Well, they'll be copying our Direct Connect architecture for their offerings in late 2008 and into 2009. AMD chose to go for a more elegant design. It should give them some advantages in terms of performance scaling over time. Uh, and in fact, it's such an elegant design that when you look at Intel's next generation quad core, it will look very much like AMD's Barcelona. Let me show you some of the key cornerstone innovations associated with this Direct Connect architecture and how it is a superior system architecture to that what our competitor delivers. Some of the key innovations of AMD's Direct Connect architecture include the way that each of the processors is connected directly together through a high-speed hypertransport link. In addition, each processor is directly connected to the memory, the registered DDR2 memory. And that allows, again, increased bandwidth from the memory system directly to the processor. Lastly, you see how the I.O. system is directly connected to the CPU through, again, a very high-speed hypertransport link. If we contrast that to the competitor's architecture, what we see is that all communication from the CPU to either the memory or to the I.O. system has to come through a memory controller out to the memory or through this memory controller out to the I.O. system. In addition, there's no direct connection from processor to processor. Each of these differences results in decreased performance for this legacy front side bus architecture as compared to the direct connect architecture of AMD. The differences between the two x86 multi-core architectures out there is one is completely integrated in terms of its memory architecture, in terms of its core interface, while the other one is really still using some of the older technology in terms of bus interface and in terms of putting cores together through multi-chip module technology rather than integration. It should certainly come as no surprise that this is clearly the superior system architecture, the Direct Connect architecture from AMD, and that this is the architecture that our competitor hopes to deliver to market as late as 2008 or 2009. We welcome them to the party, albeit five years late. This architecture shines brightest when you consider the most intense workloads. Because if you think about it, the most intense workloads are going to be those workloads that generate a tremendous amount of traffic between the processor and the memory, the processors to one another, and the processor down to the I.O. system. And when you have dedicated links, dedicated communication for each of those paths, you will see dramatic performance improvement. You consider, for example, the major transition that's, going th uh, that's occurring today in the IT industry as we transition to virtualized environments, where we're running on a single physical server, many operating systems with many applications. Now that you can assign specific virtual machines to specific cores, it means that applications that are running in the virtual environment have almost unfettered re access to the resources they need. This enables people who are using those applications to feel like they've really got their own machine. And what you see with those kinds of real-world workloads is that the memory system and that the I.O. system are tremendously taxed. That type of workload will be completely bottlenecked by this legacy front-side bus architecture and will be completely enhanced through the Direct Connect architecture. It's been our pleasure to lead the industry with innovations like Direct Connect architecture and a true multi-core architecture such as the one that we just introduced last week. Not, not a quad-core solution that's merely two dual cores that are put together in a single package, but rather a single die 
a single elegant design that brings together those four cores and then takes that true quad core design and puts it in the context of a beautiful system architecture like the Direct Connect architecture. If you look at our announcements that are going forward, both from our competitor and ourselves, you'll notice the following. Our competitor intends to deliver what really amounts to a die shrink of their current dual core product. They refer to that as their Penryn architecture. Again, that product will be lacking in terms of it'll be still cast into this legacy front side bus architecture. It'll still be a dual core product where two of those are put together in a single package. Contrast that to our future plans. We will be introducing a 45 nanometer quad core product in the second half of next year. This will also come with it increased core architecture improvements as well as a larger level three cache. Again, it'll fit within the same thermal envelope in the same platforms that we delivered our quad core product just last week. And in addition, we'll be bring in all the new benefits of the transition from 65 nanometer to 45 nanometer. Thank you for listening. We appreciate your support and go Opteron.